Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall for my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's Monday, July 1st, 2015. I mean, with the time, I mean, really. What happened to 2013 and 14? And now we're halfway through 2015. Uh, I'm in Northern California. Mm. I feel something heavy right now. 10.49 a.m. That's Pacific Standard Time. It's 1.50 Eastern Standard Time, June 1st, 2015. I, I feel something heavy on my heart. This. Hmm. So, there comes a time in your walk with Christ, spiritual maturity, when you know that the Lord has shown you something, and you know beyond any shadow of a doubt that that was from God and that and, and then you you just grow in that the wisdom that look God just showed me something and I'm to warn uh, I'm not to question it and, and this isn't to do with every dream you have or every vision you had but the ones the Lord sends you you grow to a, a, a spiritually a mature area where you just know Look, that was from God. And there's always confirmations. Well, let, let me explain a couple of things of what I've kind of been dealing with the last couple of days, the last week. And uh, then I want to uh, show you something on the screen about what the Lord showed me this morning before I woke up. God is doing a mighty work in this world and Satan's on a terror rampage because he's running out of time and we're seeing the birth pangs Christ spoke of hitting harder and harder and closer and closer I'm talking about Matthew 24 Luke 21 Mark 13 harder and harder and closer and closer and as I begin to press into the Lord especially on these Thursday and Friday Friday prayers this Thursday and Friday was the most difficult, the most difficult prayer session I've had since Pastor Larry started these. Every single time at 9 a.m., noon, and 3 p.m., there became distractions, disruptions, phones ringing, people calling, things. It, it, I knew this was a spiritual attack. And all I'm doing is praying for others, you know. And at one point in the final prayer at 3 p.m., I said, Lord, without saying any words, could I just feel your presence? Could I just feel your love? Mm. And after praying three times for two days and crying out to feel the presence of the Lord, I heard nothing from God and felt nothing from God. And it was the next day, Saturday, when I went to my prayer closet to continue to pray by faith that I told the Lord, Lord, even if you didn't say anything to me, even if I never felt your presence ever again, I know that I know that I know that I am your servant and you are my God and I will serve you for the rest of my life. And this is when the Lord spoke to me the next day, <laughs> the next day. See, I had to get away from the distractions and, and consecrate and separate myself from the distractions of the world and into an area where I could hear from God and clear my mind. And he began to say such amazing things. But Saturday was so powerful. He said, these warnings that you've been giving faithfully for years and years, I want you to know this one thing, Paul. The blood is not on your hands.
Anybody else ever heard that from the Lord? Do you know how powerful that is to hear? Serving him wasn't in vain. It wasn't by emotions. It was by faith. And to think that he is pleased with you. Even though when it doesn't feel like it. And then this morning he spoke in my heart. And he said, this is a Monday. Prayer ended Friday. See, it's in his time. He'll try your faith. He said, Paul, don't you know that I will never leave you or forsake you? And so I want to encourage if you're waiting to hear from something from the Lord, he will speak to you. Get away from the distractions. Now, let me let me switch over and sound this alarm. Uh, it's not really an alarm. I don't know what to call it, but I'm sh <laughs> I'm sharing it. Amen. OK, so when I woke up this morning with my mind and it was stayed on Jesus just prior to waking up, I remember it was just prior to getting up about 730 a.m. The Lord showed me in like a vision or a dream. I mean, sometimes it's hard to distinguish. All of these earthquake charts going off, just going off, just earthquakes everywhere, registering on these, these charts. And, you know, for me, I don't know about you, but the USGS w was down uh, all weekend for me the server was gone I don't know if they're doing maintenance on the server but it just said no server found anybody else experienced that and when I woke up I saw right off the coast of Oregon here I think there was three separate these are three separate earthquakes I want to show you it came in as a 5.8 and then there was a 5.5 and then there was a 4.4. I want you to know that it was at least three separate earthquakes. This was after the Lord showing me. But let's go farther. We'll, we'll look at it at, in the global incident map. I want you to look at this area. Because the Lord has showed me this area since, I don't know how long, since 2012. Three separate ones, 5.8, 5.5, 4.4, just three hours ago. And I'm comforted in the fact that the blood is not on my hands, but I will continue to sound this alarm until the Lord tells me to stop. I want to show you this video where the Lord had showed me two major twin quakes. Let's check the date on this. March 12th, 2013. And there was a vision. This was a vision, actually. Hawaii and the West Coast were wiped out. Uh, this this video has received like almost seventy thousand views. And in this the entire video, I'm just crying under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I'm crying. And and this is where the Lord showed me they would hit just right off the the coast. Two of them. And then, and then we look at today, two years later. These are coming, folks. And the blood is not on my hands. But what I'm asking you is, uh, you know, where is your heart with God right now? I'll, t I'll tell you what God has done in my life since uh, I've made this video two years ago. In this video, I am weeping over my nephew Jordan who was living in Hawaii which is like right around here where it says North Pacific Ocean right in there in the middle since then he has left Hawaii permanently and came home without any mother or father he has came home back here to California back home where he belongs and my nephew and his wife and had a baby and they have moved to Texas. I mean, so much has changed 
since I made this video. But what the Lord was showing me this morning and revealing to me this morning is real. These are coming, folks. And, and this is not something you can prep for. I don't know when this will happen. Hopefully it's after I'm uh, with the Lord. I asked the Lord at one point, when will I know? When will I know? And what he, his, his answer was, when you are with me. And I was comforted by the fact. But let, let me tell you something with 100% certainty. God showed me that in a vision. It's coming. And, and what I've learned is that only God knows when. But it's coming. It's a fact. Where is your heart with God today? Sounding the alarm again. And remember, the Lord has told me on this, the, the blood is not on my hands. So I'm doing this in obedience to him for you. Love you all. God bless you all. Where is your heart with God right this minute? Shalom.